When Apple released iOS 18 in September, the Control Center was updated. With iOS 18, you can resize controls, assign controls to a dedicated page, and adjust the placement of controls. I've already done a video on that topic. I'll place a link to it in the show's description. Now, in iOS 18.4, Apple continues to update the Control Center. In this video, I'll walk you through the new controls that Apple has added and how to use and add them to your Control Center. Stick around to the end and I'll have a bonus feature. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Apple added four new controls in the Control Center library under Ambient Music. These controls are sleep, chill, productivity, and well-being. Each control can activate a playlist filled with music that corresponds to that specific control. The sleep playlist, for example, plays music that helps you, you know, sleep. Certain kinds of music can help you fall asleep quicker and improve the quality of your sleep. So these newly added controls can help you be more productive, fall asleep, and more. Here's how to locate and add these controls. We'll start by swiping down from the upper right corner of your screen to access the control center. Now go ahead and tap on the plus sign in the upper left corner. Select add a control. And now we need to locate the ambient music category. We can do that by either typing in where it says search controls and typing in ambient music category, or because it's in the beginning of the alphabet, I'll just scroll and you'll see ambient music category appear there. Once we've decided which ambient control we want to add, you can select one of them, or if you wanted to, you could go in and select each one. I'm going to just go ahead and tap on the sleep control. You'll see now that it's been added to the control center. And if I just tap outside anywhere, you'll see that we go back to the control center. I can go ahead and tap on that control to begin playing the music. When I'm finished, I can go ahead and tap it again to turn it off. You can also change the playlist for each control. Let's swipe down again from the upper right corner to access the control center. If you're not seeing your sleep control, my controls, there's a lot of them on the first page, but I'll just swipe up to get to the second page and you'll see my sleep control listed there. If I tap on the plus sign in the upper left corner, I'll have the option now to edit this sleep control. I can, I can adjust it so that it's bigger if I want to. Um, I can tap on the delete, but if I just tap on the center of the control itself, you'll see a card appears and it says playlist. If I tap on the playlist, now I'll get a drop down menu and I can tap on any of these, these playlists that Apple has made available to us. So I'll just go ahead and tap on one. If I wanted to though, I could also, if I have a playlist that I want to use from um, the Apple Music app, I can tap on from library. It'll take me into the music app and I can choose my own playlist if I want to. I'm going to leave it at bedtime beats. I'm going to tap out of there. I'm going to tap outside the box. Now, I still need to tap again so that we're back to the control center. And now when I click on the control, it's going to play the new playlist that I've just chosen. Apple already lets you tap into a white noise machine using background sounds like ocean and rain. If you're not familiar with them, I've, I've done a video on it. I'll place it in the show's description. But ambient music is actual music instead of a background sound. Services like Spotify already had this feature, 
So this was Apple's way of trying to keep subscribers on its own platform. Let's talk about some of the design enhancements that Apple added to the Control Center in iOS 18.4. Those uh, changes include the focus uh, control, where now you'll see a little up-down arrow next to focus. So it makes choosing a focus mode much easier. You'll see all of your focus modes listed, and you can just choose one. I'm going to tap out of there to come back to the control center. The brightness slider is now animated based on the level of brightness. So if I grab the brightness slider and slide it up, you'll see that the sun gets bigger and brighter as I increase uh, the brightness slider. And as I decrease it, uh, the sun gets smaller and less bright. The uh, volume slider is also animated now. So if I grab the volume slider and increase it, you'll see that as the volume increases, more lines appear. And as the volume decreases, less lines appear. So those are just some uh, design enhancements that Apple made in 18.4. In the newly renamed Apple Intelligence and Apple Lady section of the Control Center, I don't want to use her name because it will trigger her there are two new options available. So I'm inside the control center. I'll tap on the plus sign. I'll tap on add a control. I'll scroll down until I see Apple Intelligence and Apple Lady. Joining the type to Apple Lady, you'll see two new toggles, talk to Apple Lady and visual intelligence. With talk to Apple Lady, it will trigger her in voice mode, just like the side button does when you push and hold on it. The visual intelligence enables a camera feature, which was formerly an iPhone 16 exclusive, but now is available on the iPhone 15 Pro and 16e via the control center or your action button. If you're not seeing these two toggles, it's because your iPhone model doesn't support it. So let's go ahead and I've already added the visual intelligence to the control center. So if I tap on it, you'll see it comes into a camera app where I can hold up any object and I'm going to hope that it picks it up and I can tap on ask. Let me give it a second to Zoom in. Let me bring it forward and see if it'll lock in on that. And it does. I'm going to tap on ask. Eh, it's still not grabbing it. Let me try again. And it will ask ChatGPT what this object is. And it has discovered correctly that it is an Anchor USB C hub. So you can use Apple Intelligence to take pictures of different objects and then ask ChatGPT what those objects are. Uh, so it can be a flower, it can be uh, a building, it can be almost anything, and visual intelligence will help you uh, know what that object is. You can also add this to the action button if you have an iPhone 15 Pro. And to do that, we're going to open the Settings app. So locate your Settings app. This is what it looks like. Find the Action button under Settings. I already have it listed here as Visual Intelligence. If I swipe out of there and I push and hold on the Action button, it automatically takes me into visual intelligence. If you stuck around until the end, I promised a little bonus feature. Apple has also released new emojis in iOS 18.4. The new emojis include bags under eyes, fingerprint, leafless tree, root vegetable, harp, shovel, and paint splatter. I hope this walkthrough helped you feel more confident in exploring the new Control Center features in iOS 18.4.
whether you're setting the mood with ambient music or customizing the way the Apple Lady works for you, these updates are designed to make your iPhone experience more personal and enjoyable. Remember, take your time learning these features. There's no rush. And don't worry if you don't get everything the first time. You can always come back to this video, pause it, or replay sections as needed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.